get out of here. I'm just kidding. It's just like, damn that. <laughs> now for this next one, I just need the help of my dad. Dad, will you come up here and help me out? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> You didn't tell me there was going to be all these people here. I got your feet for this. Oh, that one gets me every time. <laughs> uh oh. Good evening. My name is Dave Putilowski, and I represent the cultural department of Golden Valley School. And tonight, we have the great honor of having an expert in the translation of Native American Indian language. Please give a warm welcome to Dr. Dimathan. Which means talks as he walks. <laughs> the legend of falling rock. This story starts long ago with a small Indian tribe. This small Indian tribe was situated deep in the wilderness. <laughs> next to a babbling brook. <laughs> Above Shivering Falls. In this small Indian tribe near a babbling brook, above Shivering Falls lived an old chief with his two sons, Running Deer and Falling Rock. The old chief knowing he would not live forever, <laughs> decided it was time to choose one of his sons, running deer, and falling rock, <laughs> to take his place as chief. But which one, pondered the old chief. <laughs> and so he devised a plan, running deer, and falling rock. <laughs> sent off into the wilderness, far from the small Indian tribe, next to the babbling brook, above Shivering Falls, the old chief told his sons, running deer, and falling in falling rock. The one who lives longest out in the wilderness will take my place as chief. <laughs> and so, running deer and falling rock <laughs> were sent off into the wilderness. <laughs> One full moon passed. <laughs> and the old chief began to worry. How long will it be until the return of running deer and falling rock? <laughs> Another full moon passed. <laughs> and a member of the small Indian tribe announced the approach of the beloved son, running deer. <laughs> the old chief was very happy and through a grand ce celebration <laughs> for the return of his son, Running Deer. The ordeal was over, and scouts were sent out into the wilderness oh. to find Falling Rock <laughs> and return him to the small Indian tribe next to the Babylon Brook and above Shivering Falls, where Falling Rock <laughs> would become chief. 
<laughs> Many moments. And the old chief died. <laughs> and never saw the return of his younger son, Falling Rock. <laughs> Falling Rock <laughs> has never returned from the wilderness to a small Indian tribe next to the bubbling, babbling brook above Shivering Falls. But his brother, Running deer still looks for him. We know this because all along the highways and byways of New Hampshire and Vermont, we still see the signs watch for falling rock. <laughs> Fun topic. Yes. Do you have a favorite comedian or style of comedy? Probably um, Groucho Marx. Um, my favorite style? Probably sarcasm. <laughs> Anyone else? Yes. Um, I really like how you showed like reactions to what happened in the story. Thank you. <laughs> Did you have a question, Mr. Sun? No, I just have one more question. Oh, okay. One more question. Yes, sir? Um, do you have a headache from falling? Yes. <laughs> yes. And so that will conclude my um, report on comedy. <laughs>